verdure imbottite or farcite. Farcite. Stuffed. Any way mm -hmm. you put it, mm -hmm. they're stuffed. <laughs> In Italy, the Ligurians were really great at this. They had mm -hmm. these, these recipes. Then sort of transported like everything else, like the yeah. immigrants. Yeah. Uh, the Ligurians came. They, they came into... Baltimore. Uh, that's sort of where the Ligurians settled first. And, but you know, in New Jersey, which is such a such an enclave of Italians mm. and vegetables, and the two just go together oh. well. Yeah, so New Jersey has, you know, a great climate there. The Jersey tomatoes and all the other beautiful vegetables that are grown there. Um, from Liguria, from the, the hill towns of Liguria, they would have their these great vegetables growing there. And when the immigrants came here, it's really one of the first things they did if they could find a little piece of land is begin growing vegetables for their own family, these backyard gardens and things like that. And of course, in a, in a place like New Jersey, that grew into a wonderful industry. Sure, sure. It's, uh, the Garden State it produces, I think, three crops a year when we went to the Margeri farms. The Margeri. That, yeah, yeah, they told us. So you say, save all these pieces, you know, uh, and that, we're going to put all that in the, in the stuffing. So I'm stuffing here an onion some peppers, mm -hmm. zucchini, mm -hmm. even celery. Mm -hmm. You have uh, two children, mm -hmm. uh, Lorenzo and Julia. Would they like something like this? My kids would like this. They like things that are stuffed uh, with bread, um, or you could stuff, uh, sometimes they do it with ground meat, you know, the, so mm -hmm. the kids like that. You know, my kids are uh, fortunate in that from a very young age, we kept uh, vegetables on the table. It was just, we like vegetables. Um, so it was just part of everything that we um, did normally, so they're used to seeing vegetables. It's not like when Julia turned six, I surprised her with broccoli. She's always eaten it, so it goes down fine. This in particular, because you have the cheese and it gets a little crunchy in the oven, so it's kind of like camouflaging the vegetable a little bit, but well, you, you had in it. another dimension, yeah. some texture, flavors, like this onion. You see, I'm just kind of scooping it out. I'm gonna use that, but we're gonna put the stuffing right in here. Put that there, and I've separated the vegetables like this, first of all, because there's a lot of volume, but also because some take longer to cook. These will cook faster than that, mm -hmm. so we put them in a separate venue, and we bake them more. Zucchini, mm -hmm. ready, available, certainly, you know, uh, that's economical. one of them. Economical, it's not Economical, yeah, right? Sure, sure. So just, just kind of, you know, make, make a pocket for, for yourself. And even the celery, it cooks very well. You know, I mean, just braising it with, with tomato sauce. Okay, oh, the soup. soup is acting up. Do you yeah. want me to squeeze this out? Yeah, so now, do, is it nice and wet? Yeah, it's wet, I've yeah. been putting okay. a little pressure so on it. So squeeze it out, put it in here, and then I'm gonna chop all of this, and we're gonna put it in the stuffing, and then we have a whole other slew of things to put in, so another element, I think certainly the Genovese are very fr known to be frugal because is uh, using everything in the kitchen. In this case, we're using the bread and you don't go out and buy fresh bread to do this. You use the bread that you have that's left over. The crustier the bread, the better it is. Okay, let me just work away at, at, at this. Okay. Okay, so we have a little bit of chopped provola. You know, melted cheese is always good in stuffings. A little bit of grated like cheese. A little bit of scallion just to give it that freshness. And scallion is another one of those underused vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's year round. You get the freshness of the green and it's not expensive. Parsley. Okay. Just a little bit to kind of tighten it all up. Go ahead. Give it a good, good, make it into a mesh kind of. So I will just season these because we'll bake them right into, in these pans. So let's do a little bit of salt. Uh, I didn't put any salt there. It smells there. delicious just even Already. like that. Yeah, Doesn't with it? the olive oil and parsley and Do you see how sky? simple it is? A little bit of I think oil. the kids would like enjoy stuffing something like this too. And I find that if they cook it, they eat it more willingly because they've participated in it. This is an ideal dish to get them involved. You know, you have it all clean to get into smell them and see the vegetables and ultimately mm -hmm. I think the feeling of of accomplishment that they've kind of worked at it sure. it really is uh, okay so I let me just uh, you know I mean stuffing you, you know stuffing not too much just mm -hmm. like that we'll put it right right in there I will toss these I just love it you know when the 
the onions kind of really roast and become sweet and mm -hmm. the stuffing is crunchy on top. And you so. can do this with those uh, fabulous uh, Mount Jerry Farm tomatoes too. Ah, okay. So I have a little bit left over. I'm just going to top it off here yep, on yep, anyone yep. that's missing. That's right. Press it in. Extra that's stuffing. It. Yeah, don't let it go to waste. And then we will drizzle it a little bit with the oil, just like that. And let's top it with some cheese, just a little bit. And everybody loves cheese, of course. Everybody loves cheese. OK, we'll cover it with some, with some paper. Okay. OK, so you cover it tightly like this. Uh, you put it in a preheated 400 degree oven. And uh, you leave it for about 20 minutes to half an hour, depends on how big the pieces are. You look at it, you uncover it, and you let it get crusty for another 10, 15 minutes. You pull it out. I mean, you can serve it hot. I love it at room temperature, mm -hmm. you know? So that's Delicious. great. Thanks, Tanya. My and pleasure. You, you'll get one I'll be of back. These. I'll be back to eat some. Oh, you will? You want to take some home for the kids? <laughs> sure. Okay. The soup is ready, vegetables are done, I made the salad, uh, and, and I'm back. I'm back to taste it all. Ah, you see? You see? No, you helped. You helped, so it's always nice. But we'll have a little lunch, tete a tete, you and I. It's beautiful. I'm going to give you a piece of celery. Okay. And an onion, and, and an uh, onion. what else? Uh, a pepper. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd like a pepper. Okay, so let's... Okay, tell me what you think about the celery. And, okay, I'm cutting it all up. Mm. Do you like the celery? Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? It's delicious. Mm -mm. So let me taste the celery. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and crunchy. My pepper comes with a piece of onion. Delicious, really good. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. Now, this one is really crunchy. I left it on top. The cheese. Good. It's like having, you know, that cheese crisp almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. I think we did a good job. So We deserve to toast to ourselves. Absolutely. <laughs> to ourselves, to our family. Mm -hmm. We'll invite them all over. But we've forgotten somebody. Well, yeah. Go ahead. So come join us. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. Yes, you heard the lady. <laughs>